What's going on, monkey dudes and monkeyettes? Hail for Gaming here, back at it again with some more Caveopolis, and this is the finale. It's time. Space the final frontier. As you can see, we're on the last tab. And so, without further ado, we're going to get into this. I'm going to explain some things I did. Well, I mean, obviously I did this. I did the... I've already made everything. I've already made everything. I also made some stairs because we're going to finish off the last final project before we finish the game. Back here, we have all of our colored stone along with anything that has pebbles, including deep slate. Well, deep slate doesn't have pebbles, but deep slate and including cobblestone. We have our inputs, ender chests. For This is the one that comes all the way from over there, the other room that we'll go to in a minute. We have our barrels here that are collecting bonsai stuffs. We have our lava produ or this is our pebble production specifically for uh, ore formation. We have our inscriber back here along with our charger and automation set up for it. It is a little annoying to get back there. Uh, I actually started doing this and just walking along this pipe, but it's fine. It's fine. We have this. Done like this, I put a 16k storage in here because it, it held enough to actually do its its thing. We've got all of these su successfully hooked up. Technically, I could have put two there and just put a door here. And it probably would have been okay. But I kind of liked it in the middle of these. And plus, it separates this perfectly. Look at that. If anything, I could have put it at the end. But... I like it symmetrical like this. I really like the way this came out. Having said that, we've got all of our stuff input in here. I removed the nether stars because they didn't need to be in there. Um, and replaced it with basalt. I don't know if I did that on cam. We've got all of our furnaces. And again, to show you the speed of these furnaces, it's unlike anything else. Let's just throw in 16 of these. 16 is 1,024. It's 16 stacks. Okay, and so we can see how long it takes. Currently, I have 16 stacks, plus 56. So this will be 32 stacks, plus 56. Let's see how long this takes. It puts them all in immediately, and they're cooking. And look how fast that number goes up. 21 stacks, 22 stacks, 23 stacks. It's going up basically a stack a second. Maybe a little bit off that, but it's almost done already. We're at 28. 29, 30, 31, and 32, and the rest of them. So it's the plus 56. So very fast, along with all of these, we've got our two induction smelters. That was mainly because I got tired of uh, only being able to induct one thing at a time. We've got our multi-server press, which I used a lot on uh, prismarine crystals to get the prismarine shards. We've got this glitchness, where every time I load in, the liquid disappears from these things, even though it's in there. Because this is our blast chiller, which I used for a lot of obsidian I needed. We have our pulverizer, because, you know, now we have two crushers, but one won't auto-input, so this one helps. But also this one will smelt nine at a time, or crush nine at a time, so... That, you know, more to the point. We've got our infusing, enriching, osmium compressor... Factories. Um, we've got our fragment combiners here, for all the tiers. We've got our lava production back here. Uh... This isn't lava production. This is uh, lime-colored stone. I picked lime because that's what I wanted to pick. Going into here to... I never finished this off, did I? Oh, I did finish this off. Okay. I thought I didn't. I did. I finished it off. We're good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 60 on this side. So there's 120 of these. Right? One. Yeah, this is 120 of these. <laughs> so, needless to say, lava is forming fine. Or, yeah, these are, this is our lava generation. Then we have... Why is it just the lava right now? Oh, oops. That's my bad. That's my bad. Um, oops. Did I put it in my satchel? Please tell me I put it in my satchel. No, but it's okay, because I do have this... That's my bad. There we go. Uh, I'm... Where did I put it then? 
I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah, I took what I needed, what I thought I'd need with me. It's fine, it's fine. Um, <laughs> so we have all of our alloy mixers here. Here's the cobble stone pebbles that I was talking about, which is eating really fast now for some reason. It was fine a little bit ago. Why is it suddenly draining? Huh. Anyway, here are all of these that are making ore forming water. Three, six, nine. That's 24. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, 36 instead. 36 of these. And then uh, four each, right? Or is it five each? One, two, three, four. Four each. So base, tier one, blaze, tier two, tier three, and tier four. And these are also energized so that they have energy. And then they're fragment combiners and into the storage right here. So I've separated the rooms easily that way. It's much nicer. I rarely wanted to. I could actually cover this up, but I'm not going to. Because that's fine. Um, having said that, I need to go check and make sure everything's okay. Like, what happened? Did I miss something? Um, I made some... I made mom's potato stew. That's what I named it. It's actually just two bread, a baked potato, and a carrot. Um, but that's fine. I wonder if you could put milk in it. Because you see, potato soup needs milk. It's a cream-based thing. Here's our unlimited water source area. Here's our tree with our arboreal extractor. Stone chest. Our animals, which didn't get used much, admittedly. <laughs> Be the first to admit that. Sorry, animals. But just wasn't meant to be. Cheered the sheep the most. <laughs> Never really did much with the cows. It's okay. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Uh, before I head out, I'd like to go back in here and heal up with our environmental controller, which has saturation plus, regen plus, and night vision, which is made by getting drowned in a syringe, a module template with glowstone. This is how you make a module template, and infused diamonds are made like this. And then you can make... You need to make a tier two, which is a tier one with these around it, and the infused ender pearls are the same thing, basically. But these are like that with a saturation module, which is like that with a zombie. And then this is with a with golden apples and a witch, which was easy enough. And then we've got over here. We've got our photo phytogenic insulators. I can say it if I look at it. <laughs> These could run, they use power, of course, but they've actually helped create so many. That's 178 stacks of sugarcane. The organic producer we needed. I have all the stuff running in the walls behind it. That's fine. If I go over here, I've got my nitro reactor. It's just running on coal and redstone. Just a reminder, uraninite and water. Um, and filling up energy there. Because here's a water tank that has unlimited water in it. It just doesn't want to show that it has water in it. There. And then in here we have the coal and redstone dust. Which I place hidden behind the storage stuff. Just withdrawing it. And then, oh. Oh, <laughs> let these run. Oh, it's out of space. Oops. Oops. <laughs> I let those run and totally forgot. My bad, my bad. Where'd the ender pearls at? They over here. Okay. My bad. Uh, I just left it running because I put a bunch in here. Oh, is this the last of it though? This is the last of it after all. So hey, I can just go ahead and pull all these out, and we'll be good to go. Nice, nice. Glad I noticed that. Oh, these are still drawing. And okay. There. Got plenty now. What's it at? It's at superior. Aw. I was kind of hoping I could get it to self, uh, whatever. But I just didn't do enough for it. But hey, we got plenty of ender pearls and plenty of generalized chunks. Which is good. I'm just gonna go over here and dump it all. Do I have anything else I need to worry about? Nah. Uh. You full? 
Okay, well, uh, give me a sec then. Um, should have some upgrades for you. Go away. I turned it to the smaller one because I didn't like, if I have it on the tall one, how it pushes the UI down. So I put it on the small one so it doesn't do that. Okay, so we don't need a void upgrade on that. It's unnecessary. Boom, boom. There we go. I mean, I think 384 stacks is plenty. All right. Well, is, is that everything? No, that's not everything. I showed you that. So next we go over here where we have this, the energizing orb from Power, along with the energizing rods. These are all hardened. Could be better, but I didn't make them any better. Uh, we have our soul forge here, which is done, but I was using it to make a lot of crystals, and which I gave up and started using purple dye. Uh, amethyst shards, I mean. Uh, we have our dragon thing over here. To make heads, we need an egg, but to make dragon's breath, we needed a dragon head. So I was doing that. You have to trade. You can't have both of them running at the same time. You can only do one at a time. So you actually have to trade them off. We have our enchantment room here with ore formation water back there because it looks cool. And we've got our stuff. Uh, a lot of decent enchanted books, uh, none of which I'm going to take with me. I'm going to be upgrading my netherite gear. The, the the secondary netherite gear and retire the good gear. No, you know what? If this is going to be the end of the pack, this is going to be, the, I've changed my mind. I was going to do that, but I digress. I have changed my mind. Let's use the good gear. It's got the best stuff it can have on it. So let's go and then open this back up. There we go. So now we've got the best gear. So without any further ado, uh, let's finish this last thing real quick. As I mentioned, I've made this three-way door. And this is the area. This is the area. I have the shulker boxes with all of the shards and everything in it. I have the upgrade gear thing right here. And all I need to do is finish this last project of putting stairs here. So, it's time. I should have enough stairs for this. What I'm going to do is go up, putting stairs down as I go up. That is not what I wanted to do, but okay. And once this is complete, we can go craft and get ready to head out. And into space. Which is where our adventure will continue. So, let's finish getting to the top. Oh, we're almost there. Good. Good. Now, I am going to be placing the tops, um, the roof. I'm going to replace as well. But, nevertheless, I'm going to do that off camera. So, you don't have to watch me do that. Subscribe. And although it's not too far, I will also do it here. So there, we'll just go down and head down. Like I said, I know it's not too far because we have this dripstone and we're basically in the water. In fact, I'm probably going to fall into the water while doing this and not realize it. I right, replace this with stairs. Yes. In which case I could fall down there. Now I will do the top of this because this wasn't far. This wasn't far. So I'll do the top of this on camp and then we'll go down further. I'm going to keep going because I'm just going to have a staircase all the way to the bottom. Having said that, obviously I'm not going to have a staircase where the drops are because it doesn't make sense. Yeah, and then that would be the last one for that. And since this one opens up, I'll probably do that and let this open up on its own. Oh, you know what? There. Let this side open up and let this side open. So it's basically even here. And I'll do it here too. Ooh, right. And there. There. That makes a bit more sense. Looks a bit better this way too. Alright, so now we fall in. And start going this way. <laughs> Alright, I'll finish the rest of this and then meet you guys back in just a bit. Now to show that the project is complete. I already showed that, I believe. If not, then it is. Just trust me. You watched me build up, so 
course, coming back would be. And as you can see, this goes all the way down. And then we drop. And then we turn around. And this goes all the way down. And then we drop. All the way in. And then this goes all the way down. Yeah, I could have changed to a different kind of stone, but I didn't. As you can see, boom. Project complete. This is, oh yeah, this late area. If I go over here, this is, uh, I forgot to mention, the bedrock infuser that we have running. That's where one of these inner chests comes in. This is making deep slate. This is running on our power. Boom. Deep slate power. Uses 100 RF per tick or FE per tick. So, hey. And then over here is the battlegrounds for where I killed some of the withers. When I had to kill the nine withers. Or nine? Was it nine? Well, however many I killed. I think it was nine. One for the achievement, and then six for that, but I went ahead and did nine, maybe? I don't know. And then over here, I also killed some. I'm not walking all the way down there, though. So, yeah, that's it. Now, before we continue, the last thing I want to do is repair everything to the maximum. So, let's first of all get my situation. Okay. My soul situated, uh, I always am disoriented when I do that. So let's go to the enchantment room and go ahead and repair all of my armor. And so, boop, now the right boots. Fully repaired, fully repaired, fully repaired, fully repaired. Except for the bow. The bow doesn't need it. I don't have the levels. I don't have the levels. I don't have the levels. Oh, you know what? Surely. Yeah, here we go. Let's use these. They're already in here. So. I want to fully repair everything. Boop, boop. Um, this. That's not it. This. And this. Done. Everything except for the shield and the bow. Uh, they're not necessary to repair. But everything is repaired, as you can see. Keep them off, because I'm going to need to upgrade them. There we go. Everything's repaired. I did make an infinity wand. I I had to have one. Because <laughs> they're really nice. Um, go ahead and put these back. Uh, oh, yeah. While I'm at it. Well, first of all, make sure all the doors are closed. I closed it. I closed it. Come over here. And grab all of these. This is done, right? This is done. So, alas, it's time to put everything away and finish this off so we can go on our next adventure. Allow me to come over here and do this. Let's go. I have a table right here as needed to craft everything. Let's just make one, one spacesuit upgrade for this. Then two, three, four. Four, so that I can finally upgrade my gear. This is going to give me a spacesuit. Now, it does get whatever that plus 10% is. It disappears, but it's okay. Okay. Spacesuit helmet. Spacesuit chest plate. Leggings. And boots. We've done it. Full spacesuit. That's right. Now, let's make the rest of these. 45 upgrades. That makes 11 portal frames, which 10 are needed. But to make a space core, you have to upgrade one of the portal frames into a space core. And then it's time. Are we ready? Yes. Let's build the portal. This is it. The portal is here. Let's go through to the end. First, I'm going to go ahead and look at this. It says, thanks for playing GG. Mark it off. Chapter completed. Space. Everything is completed, except I did not kill one of each mob. I, I never killed a drowned, surprisingly. I just punched it with a thing and ran away with the syringe, because that's all you got to do. Hostile mobs, I didn't kill a stray. Never got a stray to spawn, so... 
Put one in there now? Oh no, I have a light in there, so no. All right, without further ado, let's go into this portal and see where it takes us. This place looks rather empty. Am I just, is it just a bug? Uh, oh. Oh, well, there is stuff here and I'm going to die in the void. Well, let's see what happens when I respawn. Well, this isn't where I expected to respawn. Um, what? What? Oh, what? This is interesting. Where'd all my enchantments go? What's going on? Bouncy? Huh. And I'm on this? What? What's going on? Team? No? Teams? Create a new team. Call it the jungle. Why do I not have a team? Create. There we go. What? Oh, okay. Well, it just teleported me to another location. That's fine. It's cool. Um, But still, what's going on? I'm confused. What? How do I open the quest book? Do these controls change suddenly? Uh, huh? Right. What's going on? I'm so confused right now. Um, West? West? I'm confused. Hmm. Well, let's try this again. What? Welcome to Astropolis. The, the quests are reset, and it's just different. What is going I'm confused. I am confused. I died and I wake up in another world. <laughs> I was isekai into a new mod pack. Oh, that's great. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. There will be more Astropolis to come. Trust me. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone. That was the finale for Caveopolis. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you're anticipating this pack as much as I am. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you guys in the next one. Have a good one. We completed it. Goodbye, everybody.